Welcome back to Let's Play Rise of the Argonauts. I'm Burning Dog Face. Yeah, that's a really big statue, damn. I didn't see that before. I received a uh, PM on YouTube informing me uh, it was a spoiler free friendly message, it put it. Oh, what the? That way is nice oh, another one of these. Three weeks' voyage with the swift ship. My father says you're to go home soon. I miss my Sine. But there's a part of me that doesn't want to leave. Will you be back? Someday. It's probably in order to watch those in, but, uh... And then I kept fucking stumbling into them. Anyway, um. I said I got a deed out of that. I called your time with Elsa May. The, uh. The message I got said that, uh, in order to save me some frustration and, uh, wasted time, Jason doesn't upgrade his shield the way he upgrades his weapons. He just sort of keeps this one with him. And that, and that makes sense, you know. Uh, it, you, the shield doesn't do direct damage. It doesn't, uh, you know. I don't remember what the second thing I was going to say is. It, I was just going to comment, of course. That I suppose I should have seen that coming, given that this shield is the O in Argonauts in the logo. It's right there in the front of the box. But in any event, it's not that bad, actually. It looks pretty good. I'm disappointed they're not going to get one with like a story behind it, but, uh. Let's call it the Shield of Yolkus. As Jason protects his people, so his land will protect him. Another one of these. On this spot did King Yolkum slay the Fijian war chief. Turning back the marauders, Yolkum defended the sacred sites of Zeus from harm. The Fijians were scattered to the seas, never to threaten again. Hell yeah. Okay, let's take a look at the map. I have things to do. Agathe. Yes. It's best to be honest in this case. I mean, it's a dying dude's last wishes, to be honest, right? Wait, where the fuck am I? Look at that, uh... Okay, they should be right here. Hello? I guess they're in this building. Nope! How are you, Argos, then? No. Sinon, listen to me. We have family in Thrace. We'll be welcome there. We can't just leave. Yolkus is our home. Your father is gone, Sinon. Our lives must continue. But only on Thrace? No, mother. Here is where my father is buried. Here is where I'll honor him. Sinon! Forgive my lack of cheer, King Jason. Are you Agathe, widow of the servant Thano? I have a message for you. Your husband's dying words. Uh. His final message was that he always loved you. But Agathe, he wanted you to know he wasn't always true. It is no surprise. His dying wish was your forgiveness. I've known for some time, and I already had forgiven him in my heart. Thank you for telling me, King Jason. If there's anything I can do. My son and I have each other. Nothing else can help right now.
nothing about sign on. Not sure if I'm supposed to go talk to him. Go track him down or something. Now that was a boat. Yeah, it seems that the uh, save point, it, the checkpoint it got, was it right after uh, I had actually hit save in the menu? Because I still needed to talk to that guy to get this spear again. Weird. Oop. Notice today. Greetings, King Jason. I am the Dockmaster, Nestus. May Athena's five virtues be with you always. Do you follow the Virgin Goddess? I, sir. I make my devotions to Athena. I find her principles help me lead an ordered and disciplined life. That comes in handy when you oversee the motley pack that works these docks. And the last uh, info guide is located. Athena's wisdom must prove a help when dealing with old Argos. That it does. But that's not the only province of Athena's rule that I take interest in. Athena is the goddess of justice. In the village, I hear petitions too trivial for your attention. She is also the goddess of crafts, strategy, and military war. All worthy disciplines. Truly, the domains of my goddess form the core of good society. You mention the five virtues of Athena. What are they? Wisdom, justice, courage, discipline, and humility. These are the five virtues of a worthy life. I strive each day to achieve these qualities. Some days are harder than others. You work for Argos? Yes, sir. I manage the docks and help out with riggings and sails, mainly. I did some work on that pulley system he's put aboard your ship. Is Argos about? He's aboard, sir, tending to some final preparations. He mentioned if I saw you to let you know he's ready for your inspection. I can row you out there if you wish. Not yet. Not right now, Nestus. Good day, Nestus. Hey! I was kind of hoping they'd give an explanation for why it's those four gods. I mean, obviously they couldn't get the entire pantheon into one conversation wheel, but, uh... You know, I'm kind of curious, why, uh... Athena, why not Artemis? What was the other thing I wanted to do? I wanted to check out the throne room again. Oh god. The guy who wandered in at the beginning of video five. I'm going to check something with Elias. <laughs> I was trying to I was trying to check and see if uh Oh right, the thing goes up a bit every time you make a conversation choice with their na uh, symbol on it. That's why Hermes is above Ares, even though I haven't given him any deeds. I'm just trying to see if uh, 
doesn't look significantly bigger. You know, giving this Apollo deed to Apollo as opposed to the others. I'll do it anyway, of course. Words of compassion. Yeah, not that one. Uh... Apparently this is an active ability. They really should uh, signify which of these are uh, active and which are passive. I don't know, oh, I think State of Grace is that thing that happened when I was about to die and the whole screen turned red. Let's go with this. Strength of numbers is less important than strength of character and courage. A hundred sheep pose no threat to a single lion. A shield is not simply for defense. In an expert's hands, it is a lethal tool of war that melds attack and defense, crushing your enemies before you as it turns aside their blows. Well, that makes that sound pretty awesome. I've been trying to work on a uh, power block. I'll try to, uh... Maybe I'll get this. You know, it'll make it more... It'll encourage me more to get that. But yeah, apparently the, uh... The Hermes thing, where you leave behind duplicates as you dodge... Sneeze. Ah, oh, back. Yes, the, uh, the dodge... the dodge duplicate thing. Uh... That's an active power. You turn that on, and then while it's active, you leave behind decoys and you roll. It isn't like a passive thing that's always on. So, you know, it's like I said, they really need to have at least, like, the word passive or active next to each of those things. I want to talk to my uncle. Pelican! I have learned nothing yet about Delphi. I'll continue to think of where an answer might lie. Okay, then. Hello, Chair. Jason, will you hear the petitions before the court? What? Oh. I was expecting him to, like, give one of those, like, you know, the Herm descriptions. This is the seat of kings that uh, every Yulkin uh, warden has sat on for the last thousand, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, this is actually a thing. Okay, I mean, actually the Herm's part of the reason I came up here. I'm guessing there's a, uh, a deed for finding all of them, but uh, I don't know if I've gotten that yet. Alright, let's listen. Yes. Call for the next petition. King Jason will now hear petitions. Yay! The court recognizes the Honorable Masistus, emissary of King Lycomedes of Mycenae. Shite. Masistus, I hear you'll be leaving for Mycenae shortly. Indeed. I will return with difficult news. The king's daughter, murdered on her wedding day. What message would you have me give King Lycomedes on your behalf? Hope is strongest. Tell him that I plan to bring Alcimate back. I will go to Delphi and find a way. A noble goal. But there is a fine line between hope and delusion, King Jason. Such a journey could take years, with no certainty of success. No, no, don't want to yell at the guy who's... Alright, only the word emissary is holding my tongue. Only the Oracle at Delphi could have the answer. It's our only hope. King Lycomedes has a saying that has served him well. Hope in one hand, and spit in the other. And let me know which fills up first. Jason, will you hear another petition? Alright, but have that guy beaten on his way to the docks. Yes. Call for the next petition. The court recognizes the guardsman, 
Orestes. Hail, sir. We've been holding a handful of Ionian prisoners pending your orders. How many are there? Five, sir. One's a captain, or whatever their equivalent is called. And they've been questioned? Yes. Captain Idas says they've said all they have to say. What should we do with them, sir? Hmm. Why is this the Apollo choice? Take them on a ship out to sea. When you're a day out, put them on a shore boat. Give them enough food and water for a week. No weapons or armor. They can row back to Ionia. We'll leave the rest in the hands of their gods. It will be done, sir. Jason, will you hear another petition? Yes. Call for the next petition. The court recognizes Katya, a farmer's daughter. Sire, I appear before you to beseech your favor. What is it you would ask of me? Allow me to give last rites to the dead Ionians and the assassin. No one has yet done this. If they were evil men, Hades will judge them. But to deny last rites is to deny the will of the gods. Is it? I believe it is our duty to see that all the dead are sent to Hades, regardless of what they did in this life. I was taught as much myself, but there are exceptions to every rule. Will you let me, sir? I will perform the rites myself. Again. I don't really have a problem doing this. I'm just confused why it's Hermes who goes along with it, as opposed to the compassionate Apollo. Your devotion is to be lauded, young Katya. And you are right. For the dead whose time has come, it is our duty to pass their spirits on to Hermes, so that he may guide them. That would do it. Your request is granted. I thank you. I knew our warden was noble. Jason, will you hear another petition? Just as a note, Hades is the name of the dude, not the realm. That gets confused a lot. Hades is the god who rules over the underworld, as it's called. Uh, I remember that the section of the underworld where or, uh, good people go is called the Elysium Fields, but I don't remember if there's a name for the part where the shitty people go. Yes. Call for the next petition. This is interesting. The court recognizes Philo. I'm glad I came back. A shepherd. King Jason, a black lamb has been born to my flock. Okay. As is custom, I've come to ask your blessing before the animal is sacrificed to Zeus. Oh. A black sheep is quite an omen. The animal will not be sacrificed to Zeus. But Jason... Let it be sacrificed to another god. Apollo, Ares, Athena, Hermes. Choose one of them. I cannot make such a choice, sir. Pelias, surely the other gods would look favorably upon such a rare sacrifice. The lamb is an omen of change. So consider what course you see before you. A sacrifice to Ares would increase your chance of victory over your enemies. If you want wisdom on your path ahead, then propitiate Athena. That's a good word. Honor Apollo if you desire peace for your heart and your kingdom. If you know not what you seek, then choose Hermes, and may he bring you fortune no matter the path you take. Peace for your heart, you say. That sounds pretty good to me. Let it be sacrificed to Apollo. It will be done as you command. The people are content. There are no petitioners this day. Go me!
Wow, that was interesting. Oh. Oh yeah, I turned on the uh, health bar in the options menu. I don't know, I could switch them in between battles. I've just been pushing the buttons as a uh, idle habit. And there's the timer. Well, I'm going to look around a bit for more Herms. And uh, then I'll see you when I'm ready to shove off, I guess. I'm Bernie Dogface, and this has been another episode of Let's Play Rise of the Argonauts. I didn't kill anybody, but I got to stretch my brain a bit more than I have in the last few games, and that's interesting. I hope you'll join me next time when we say hello to Argos. Craftsman of the Argo. Later.